right, you football fans, it is time for look number three. I Again, I feel like such a traitor because I'm like, okay, Raiders, no Bears, no, now the Packers. But anyways, I wanted to do a green and yellow look for you guys that you could wear to the game. Something fun. I mean, even if you aren't a Packers fan, you can still wear this look. I think it's really cool. It's very well blended. It's just a very dramatic, funky, fun look. So pull out your green and yellow eyeshadows and let's do our Packers makeup. Okay, so to start our look, you guys, you need some different eyeshadows. I want to show them to you because um, if you have different brands that you want to use, you kind of know what colors to work with. You need a matte dark green. And then to blend it out, you need something that's a little bit lighter. It doesn't have to be this bright, but you need it to be matte. And then just kind of a beige-ish tan color for blending. And then you need a stark white matte also. We're doing a lot of mattes today, can you tell? <laughs> and then a matte bright yellow. So take your dark matte green. I'm going to use Max Bottle Green. I don't know if they still sell it anymore, but it's a really nice green. I'm going to take a really small dome brush like this. This is actually a Ben Nye brush. It's number three. But any sort of small dome brush will work. What I'm going to do is on the outer part of the eye, I'm going to get that first line started just like this. So start at the crease, come down to the edge of the eye. And then what I'm going to do from here, don't go above the crease at all. I'm just going to start feathering it inwards. Now this is the shape that I created with the blending. I just stayed on the outer part of the eye and didn't go above the crease here. Now take your green eyeshadow, same brush, and we're just going to put it here on the edge of that dark green. I'm going to start blending this out. We're just using this as a blending color just to soften any harsh lines. And then you can put a little bit out here too to kind of soften the edges. Now take that same brush. We're going to go in with a taupe color. This is Max Bamboo. Just something that's a matte finish as well. Maybe just a couple of shades darker than your skin. I'm going to put this right above that green. This is also going to blend it out. So we want it to be very well blended. I'm going to bring it here in the crease just a little bit. And I'm also going to put a bit out here just to soften anything that's still harsh. Same brush. We're going to get a lot of use out of this one. I'm going to go in with my matte color yellow. The one I'm using is a Makeup Forever one because it's the only one I had that was really bright and it's number 71. So take some of that. We're going to blend this onto the lid. So I'm just going to sweep it sideways like this. And I'm going to put it all over the lid and just leave this little part here blank for the white, but the rest of it's going to be all yellow. And then blend it over into the green, just sweeping it sideways. Now same brush again, we're going to go in with our matte white. I'm using Max Gesso. And we're just going to put this here on the inner tear duct and blend it up and inwards. Now for the bottom lash line, it's up to you guys if you want to bring the color down here a bit. I'm going to switch to a pencil brush like this. Just go in with your dark green and we're going to smudge this on the outer part of the eye. And I'm going to stop about halfway because we're going to leave this open for some yellow. Wipe it off, pick up the yellow, and we're just going to put this here near the inner tear duct on the bottom lower lash line. Bottom lower. That was a mouthful. Put some yellow under here. <laughs> Now just take your favorite green gel liner, and I love the Bobbi Brown ones. I'm going to use the one in Ivy Shimmer Ink. It's a really pretty kind of deep green color. Taking just any eyeliner pencil, dipping it in, and I'm just going to line the upper and lower waterline. Then all you need to do is apply your mascara. The one I'm going to use today is the MAC Opulash. So for the rest of the face, it'll be fairly, fairly. <laughs> Keep dropping stuff. Jeez. So for the cheeks, I'm going to apply just a little bit of bronzer. And you guys know which one is my favorite. It's the MAC Refined Golden. I'm going to use the MAC 109 brush. Just swirl it in. And I'm almost going to use it as a contour. So I'm going to apply it just a little bit here under the cheekbones just because I want a little bit of color to my face. I'm going to come up here along the side of the temple. See how I'm just buffing it out just to add a little dimension to my face. 
and then take that same brush and use whatever blush that you like. I really like the Tarte ones because they're matte finish. I don't want a lot of shimmer on my face. And I'm going to use the color Blissful. It's a really pretty kind of pale pink color. So apply a little bit of that. We're going to put this right on the apples of the cheeks and blend it back. And if you applied a little bit too much color like I just did, you can take a sponge and just kind of blend it out. Just like that, super easy. Then for the lips, I want a warm pink color. I don't want peach because it'll kind of clash with everything that's going on. I don't want nude because it'll look kind of washed out. So I'm going to use a Victoria's Secret lipstick. It's like a pale warm pink and this is the color Wish. It's really pretty. And I like Victoria's Secret lip glosses because they're not too sheer. They have a lot of color to them, but they're really smooth and creamy. They're probably my favorite lipsticks. So apply some of that. And then for the lip gloss, you can apply whatever you want if you like lip gloss or not. I'm going to use a MAC Dazzle Glass one. I don't know if they still sell it. It's called Local Color. But any sort of pink lip gloss will work, whatever is your favorite. So apply some of that, and it kind of plumps up the lips. Makes them look nice and juicy. Whoops. Hold on. <laughs> okay, good thing I already applied it because I have to disinfect the wand now. I keep dropping stuff today. I don't know what my problem is. But anyways, that is our Green Bay Packers look. So just put your cap on and then you are ready to go for the game. So I hope you guys had fun with that one. I really like this. It took me a while to get the blending right just because green and yellow are so harsh to put together. So you don't want it to look like baby poop when you blend the two. So it's really kind of tricky. But go to makeupgeek.com. I have everything listed and I'll list some inexpensive alternatives for you guys so you don't have to spend a ton of money on a look that you may wear just one time. So check it out. But as always, you guys, be happy and healthy. I hope you're doing great and have fun out there and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.